Welcome to Colombia! Today, tips and tricks when traveling to Colombia. We are hosted by Oli from the restaurant SPQR in La Candelaria, Bogota. This is not just an ordinary restaurant, it's number one on TripAdvisor. So you should go and visit and check it out. It's really amazing. It might be not something you expect, but something else, but you will not find out if you don't come here. So we'll start. Um, what, what is important when coming to Colombia? So prior of coming to Colombia, you should check if your passport is still valid for six months. If not, you might have a problem when going through migration. Check with your bank if your ATM card is set up the right way that you can actually get money. Because sometimes the banks, they have some security processes in place that when you travel to countries like Colombia, they won't let you get cash from ATMs. Depending on activities you're going to perform, get all your shoes, equipment and clothes with you. Because in Colombia, for me, it's very difficult to get shoes. I have size 12 or 45 and the Colombians in average are a bit smaller and getting shoes it can be quite a hassle. Depending on where you're traveling to you need vaccinations because in Colombia there's yellow fever, there's dengue, it's a tropical country. You will find a link um, to another blog which tells you in detail uh, how to prepare yourself. Security in Colombia. Colombia is a development country and its security increased a lot. But still, what I can tell you, don't be stupid. Don't come here to Colombia with your big Rolex and your wrist and diamonds, earrings. Don't wear your very expensive stuff like this. You will not provocate local people. In most regions, in the tourist areas in Colombia, you can travel safely. There's actually no security risk or any, any issues. In Colombia, they say da papaya. It means give the papaya, the fruit. That means don't leave your mobile phone on the, on the table. Don't leave your purse some, somewhere unattended. Travel documents. I suggest that you usually have photocopies with you and the originals you keep in the safe in the hotel. Do's and don'ts in Colombia. Colombians are usually very friendly people and very open and communicative. So even if you don't speak Spanish, try to communicate. Colombians will be very happy to communicate back with hands and feet. Pablo Escobar was no hero. Although his all around Netflix and TV shows, for Colombians it's really a dark spot in history. So try to avoid just talking always about Pablo Escobar and hookers and cocaine. The country has so much to offer. It's so rich culturally, food, history. There are plenty of topics to talk about. Money. In Colombia, you pay with Colombian pesos. Uh, usually you cannot pay with Euro or US dollar or Yen or whatever. Getting money is very easy. There are many ATMs all around the country where you can get cash with your debit card. When you arrive at the Bogotá airport, you see currency exchange, but there's actually no need to bring foreign money. You can go to the ATM and get your cash. Usually on ATMs, there's a limit on 700,000 pesos. I was able once to get two, up to 2 million at Citibank. I'm not sure if that's still in place, but usually the amount is like 700,000 pesos, which is two, $250, but you can make several withdrawals. Tipping. In restaurants, usually you have a 10% tip. Um, sometimes they put it on the bill, sometimes they ask for it. Just make sure uh, with the bill that you don't tip twice. Visa. When coming to Colombia, most countries don't need a visa to enter the country. By entering, you will get a stamp and this will be valid for 90 days. If you're going to stay longer, you can get a stamp for another 90 days. This means per calendar year, you can stay 180 days in Colombia without applying for a visa. Languages. The official language in Colombia is Spanish. Although 
in some parts people don't speak Spanish. There are over 50 recognized indigenous languages in Colombia. And for example, when you go to La Guajira, the local indigenous, the Wayu, many of them don't speak Spanish. Security forces. The national number for emergencies is very easy. It's one, two, three. You see, all over Colombia, there are lots of security forces. You have the Policia Nacional, which is the public police. And for tourists, there is a special unit, which is called Policia de Turismo. It's the tourism police. Usually those speak English. If you have some issues, search for Policia de Turismo. Also, it might happen if you travel by car or bus that you go through a checkpoint and those may be run by the army. Eating and drinking in Colombia. Food is very regional. So on the Caribbean coast, for example, you will get fresh seafood. In Bogota, it's on 2,700 meters and quite cold, so you get many soups. Drinking is mostly beer, not so much wine. And when you have a good party, you drink scotch or aguardiente. Public holidays in Colombia. Colombia, I think, is world champion in having public holidays. There are 18 public holidays, 18. And usually they're on a Monday, so people travel. That means if you come to Colombia and you spend a weekend in a tourist site, like Villa de Leyva or Santa Marta, and it's a public holiday and a long weekend, it will be packed. If you want to avoid paying higher prices, you should check on public holidays in Colombia. Also, Semana Santa, everything is packed. The whole country is traveling. Also, between like 20th of December until 15th of January, the Colombians are traveling and everything is packed and more expensive. It's high season in Colombia. Patience. Colombia is in South America and therefore the clocks run on a different pace. When you have travel agencies organizing the trips for you, usually drivers and guides are punctual. But if you're on your own, you have to be patient because people are usually late. In the big cities like Bogota, Medellin, Cali, Barranquilla, there is lots of traffic. And always when you want to move from one side to another, you end up in a traffic jam. All you can do Show patience. When you decide to travel within the country by car or by bus, after my experience, traveling all over the country, average speed is about 40 kilometers an hour. There are just little highways, no tunnels, especially when you have to drive over the Andes. There is one line and so many trucks. Nightlife and party. Colombia is a great country for nightlife, going out and knowing people. But there are some points you have to be careful with. Watch your drinks for not being drugged. Also, when you go home, call for an Uber or a taxi by app, by phone. Don't take cabs on the street. Protect yourself against sexually transmitted diseases. Colombia is still a development country and the risk is higher. So that's it, tips and tricks for traveling to Colombia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Give me a like. And if you have any questions, write it down below. See you soon. Bye from Colombia.